people. I mean, the network mimics the behavior of people. And you and I, whether we want to admit it or not, are pretty much creatures of habit. Mm -hmm. So you take your behavior and mine, and you multiply it by the hundreds of millions of people that use the network, and you get nice, smooth curves. So on the screen behind me, you'll notice pretty smooth curve. Um, the yellow line is actually what happened a week ago today. And all the different colors underneath, that's the cumulative of today. So we compare today with a week ago, and we expect things to match. Now, when they don't, well, what's going on? Well, there might be a little equipment you know, glitch. That certainly could happen. Or there could be some significant external event that skews the line. And of course, I have some examples of you know, pretty significant events that have skewed the line. So, so for instance, here is when the blackout hit the Northeast in the summer of 03. Now, if you recall, a large portion of the eastern United States and eastern Canada as well was in the dark. And that's the change that we saw in our traffic pattern. Mm. And it's almost instantaneous. Notice how sharply it rises at 4 p.m., which is around the time the lights went out on the East Coast. So the network is a very sensitive barometer of what's happening. Read more about this and other tech stories in Government Technology Magazine.